Hi guys, it's Mika. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a pretty quick drugstore for you guys. You know the struggle of going to Walgreens for some body wash, walking through the makeup aisle, seeing all the new products and just, what? Like, um, let me just, let me just look. And then $60 later, walking out with a whole bunch of new makeup. Mm-hmm. That was me. So I went to Walgreens the other day. I've been seeing on Instagram that there's all these new beauty products at the drugstore. So I wanted to go to Walgreens for body wash, as I told my husband. And I walked out with some goodies. So um, if you would like to see what I picked up from Walgreens, then just keep on watching. Alright you guys, so everything that I picked up from Walgreens was um, mostly lip products except for one thing. Um, I saw that L'Oreal had a new foundation. It is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte 24 Hour Demi Matte Finish Air Light Oil Free Foundation. So I am intrigued always when it says matte. I love a nice matte flawless face. I am pretty oily in my T-zone. So when I saw this, I had to pick it up. I thought it was a little pricey for a drugstore foundation. I think it was like $12.39 and it is one fluid ounce, which is standard for foundations. But again, I was intrigued by the Pro Matte, so I wanted to give it a try. Um, it says, lasting demi matte finish, never dull, never flat. Um, and it claims to be uh, medium coverage and I actually have it on my face today. I've had it on for about four hours now and surprisingly I'm enjoying it. So I will do a separate video um, on this foundation so stay tuned for that but I picked up the shade Soft Sable which was the darkest available on the display so we will see how it goes. Next I strolled my little self over to Milani and I'm not sure if you guys know but they did release some matte lipsticks so I picked up four they average like five dollars each but I love Milani lipsticks I think they are one of the better brand drugstore lipsticks that are out there along with Maybelline and Wet n Wild but um, I picked up matte orchid these guys these are so pigmented so creamy oh my goodness um, I also picked up matte naked looks like this nude shade pinky nude shade if you can see right there next is matte innocence which is also a nude shade it's a lighter um peachier nude right there i'm not sure about this one um and then lastly i picked up matte blissful which is this very pinky it's like a blue it's a blue toned pink there was like a purple that I wanted but the display was out so I picked up these four colors those are those super pigmented creamy from Maybelline they also released a new line of lipsticks I believe it's called blooming rebel I'm not 100% sure but I love the vibrant color of the packaging I picked up three I picked up Orchid Ecstasy, which is this very nice deep purple shade. I love my purples, so I was very excited about this. And there it is. Super gorgeous, beautiful. Again, these are so creamy. I love these lipsticks. And then I picked up Lilac Flush which is this very light blue tone purple. It really reminds me of Lime Crime Airborne Unicorn, which I do own. Here are the two next to each other. Um, I guess this is, this is a lot lighter, but I'll swatch them. So yeah, so Airborne Unicorn and Lilac um, Flush. So 
kind of similar, not exact dupes, but last I picked up Blushing Bud, which is this very nice pinky coral shade. Very pinky coral. It's very pretty, and that is that right there. Um, I also picked up the Milani liquid um, color, the Lip Intense liquid color. It was on sale at Walgreens for like $2, so I picked it up. I love purples, so... Ooh! This is very pigmented. Very pigmented. I wonder if it dries matte or how it dries, but... I picked that up. If you guys are interested, check out your Walgreens because a lot of my Walgreens items, I think they're getting rid of all the older items um, in preparation for the new spring collection. So $2. I thought it was a pretty good deal. Another lip product I picked up is by Rimmel. It is the Provocalypse 16 Hour Kiss Proof Lip Color. And I got it in the shade 230 Kiss Fatal. Um, it's this, as you guys know, I'm into those very dark lips, so I picked this up. So it's like a double-ended. Um, this is step one, which I guess is the lip color, and over here it says step two, lock and shine. I'm not sure how that works, but this is what this looks like. It looks very dark and, oh, it's very creamy. Um, it's pretty pigmented, very creamy. Oh. I like it. So, as you can see, there it is. I was intrigued because I was wondering if this dried matte because it says 16 hour kiss proof and most of the time those um, lip products dry matte. So I picked this up to see if it was a dupe for anything. It does have a little bit of shimmer in it. So I'm gonna let that dry and then I guess you apply this which is, it's just a clear gloss. So I'm thinking for it to come with a clear gloss that maybe this dries matte. I really, really, really hope it dries matte. So we're gonna let this dry and we're gonna come back. Okay, so that is it from Walgreens, but I have like some other things that I just got, so I might as well just throw it in this video. Um, I picked up the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Lolita. I have been hearing so much about this that I had to pick it up. It looks like this. Um, let's see. It's a very brown, mauve brown lip color. Can you see that? I don't even know if you can see that. It's up here by my knuckles, yeah. I think you can see it. Um, it's a mauve brown lip color, I think. This will look really good on, I've seen it on all types of skin tones, but I think it'll look really good on the women of color in my tone, so I had to pick it up. Um, Liz let me know that it was back in stock on, on um, Sephora, so I picked it up. It looks pretty, so I know for sure this dries matte. I know a lot of people have complained that it kind of dries out your lips. I don't care. If it looks good, I'll deal. So there's that, and this Rimmel is not drying matte yet. Um, this Kat Von D one dried matte already and this Rimmel one is still pretty glossy, so I'm kind of sad. And lastly, I got the original makeup eraser. I got this sent to me to try out. Um, I'm not sure if you guys have seen this on Instagram. That's how I seen it. Supposedly, it says, remove your makeup with just water. Um, you can remove waterproof mascara. It's removed in seconds. There's no... Um, chemicals, it's all natural, machine washable, no stains or main, soft and promotes healthy skin. So I've seen, you know how people put videos on Instagram, people post videos, they're wearing like a full face of makeup, they have this makeup eraser and a towel and they get it wet and then they start removing their makeup with just this towel and it comes off pretty freaking amazingly. So when, oh my gosh, this is so soft. Ooh. So that so then when she contacted me asking me if I wanted to try it, I said, heck yeah. Um, and so I got it. Just the way it feels feels so amazing. So thank you so much for this. I will absolutely give it a try and let you guys know what I think. But off top, I am loving the way this feels. It feels amazing. And it's pink and it's so cute. I'm excited to give this a try. So you will be seeing this in a video. I'll let you guys know my thoughts. I'll review it.
And if I don't like it, I'll tell you guys. If I like it, I'll tell you. I don't care if it was sent for free. I'll let you guys know my honest, real opinion. So, yeah, that is it for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys subscribe if you aren't already so that you know when I upload videos. And follow me on my social media. I'm pretty active with you guys there. And yeah, I don't think there's anything else besides this Rimmel is still not dry. So, boo. It, ooh. I mean, I think it takes a long time, but it's kind of drying. But anyways, I'll let you guys know. Alright guys, love you. Bye. Wi wiping off swatches and holy shit, this Lolita, like, this, this is... This is like, this homegirl is not coming off. Lolita. Dang, this Rimmel one is kind of still there too. Like, I might have to pick me up a couple more of them Rimmel ones because them things really are staying. Holy bejesus, you guys. This is